hello guys welcome to another video and in this video we are going to be sketching this object here in autodesk inventor so um, this object looks a bit complicated it looks quite complex but it's a very simple thing to do so in this video you're going to see how i'm able to develop this shape in Autodesk Inventor. Listen attentively and follow closely. Let's get right into it. So, we're now in Inventor Open Part and uh, let's begin. So, firstly, you have to come to Sketch, choose your plane. Choose your plane and begin the sketch. So, Looking at the shape, um, you can notice that the shape has uh, a similitude, or will I say it looks like um, a cube, then all of these um, corners were cut out from a cube. You know, it's like a cube that um, a lot of parts were cut out from. If you watch this, it was cut out from the cube. This hollow area was cut out from that cube. So firstly, we are going to draw the cube from which this shape was formed. So we're going to draw that cube now. So the cube has a height of 1.75 and all dimensions are in inches. Um, 1.75 inches here, um, length of 3.75 inches. So we're going to draw that cube. And then the thickness is right here, 1.5 inches. So let's get right into it. So we we'll use our rectangle tool since it's a cube. Start from the origin. Check the dimensions again. 1.75, 3.75. So 1.75. And uh, 3.75 all right so this is it right here now we get to put in the thickness using the extrude command extrude thickness of 1.5 and okay so we have the cube from which the shape here was cut out from so uh, let's begin to cut the cube into our desired shape. Very simple. So firstly, um, we will start from the hollow part of the shape because this is um, the biggest cut in the shape. So we get it first. So how do we go about it? Um, let's look at some dimensions here. So from the dimensions, we see that this wall here has a thickness of 0.25 inches. So, and uh, that's also similar to the thickness of this wall. So, okay, here also 0.25 inches thick. So we're going to represent that in our drawing now. So watch it. So we pick this face and make a sketch. Using the rectangle tool again, we create this and uh, dimension it 0.25 okay 0 0.25 0 0.25 very simple very simple We're trying to get the hollow space, 0.25 thick. So finish sketch, and then we are going to get that hollow space in there. So use the extrude command and the extrude cut, because we're trying to cut through. So we select the sketch, and now we can see the cut through. So coming back to this shape, we can see that the cut is not 
through the whole shape. It stopped somewhere here, and uh, the thickness here is 0.25 inches. So we are going to cut up until this point, 0.25 away from the edge. That's the last, the 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 last part of the. That's this face down here, the side uh, face behind the side elevation there. So we are going to cut to 0.25 inches away from that face. That's this face right here. So how do we go about that? Um, we use uh, this tool here to extrude cut tool. So we select it and uh, here it says select face. So we turn the object using the cube there and up to this point. So after selecting that, we come to our distance and put minus sign. Uh, we put 0.25. And we can see that the extrude cut has um, given us the thickness we're looking for. So we select OK, and here we go. So we can see the cut. So everything is in order. So moving on, um, looking at the shape again, we can see that the cut is not just uh, on one side. It is from this side and also from the top elevation. So we need to generate this thickness as well from the top. So how do we go about that? The same method. Sketch rectangle dimension 0.25. Same thickness all over again. So let's move faster. So if you have any questions you can or any challenge you can uh, let me know so finish sketch and uh, extrude cut select the face so we use um, two this time around we already have our surface so we just choose that face, very simple. And okay, so we have the thickness of 0.25 here, and we also have that thickness of 0.25 inches here. So it's all good. So what's next? We have to uh, cut out this area and also cut out this area. So we'll start from the back. So we have Create sketch, uh, rectangle, then um, dimensions 0 0.75, 1.25. And one point two five two five sorry. Okay, great. So um finish sketch and then extrude cut again. But this time around we use um through all. So that's it. And uh Let's generate this one here. Using our line tool. So we just draw the shape. Now we add our dimensions. And we 
from distance is 1.5. Look at it here from here. So finish sketch, extrude cut again, through all, and uh, we have it. So the last part of this shape is the circle, the hole um, on this side and on the other side. So let's just get it done. Draw the circle. And uh, you just look at the dimension, 0.75 diameter and 0.75 distance, okay? Point 0.75 diameter and uh, point. And 0.75 in distance. Then we also have another dimension there, 1.5 from this edge. So 1.5, and we have a fully constrained sketch. So finish sketch and then extrude cut all over again through all and finished so that's the end of uh, this drawing so if you have any question you know you can put it down in the comment section thank you for watching and uh, i'll be posting more videos in the coming days so stay tuned thank you